Hello and welcome to Mead Week. On this edition, the Sergeant Major of the Army outlines his priorities for 2014. National Prayer Breakfast is coming up. And some employment assistance from the VA. These stories and more. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. Sergeant Major of the Army Raymond Chandler recently went on record with his priorities for the new year. Here he is describing this year's theme, Stand Strong. The most battle-tested and competent Army in the history of our nation is at a crossroads. For more than a dozen years of continuous war, we have served the American people with courage and commitment. However, the actions of a few in our ranks have caused some to question the honor and integrity of all of us. These crimes and acts of indiscipline undermine the public's trust in our Army. But even worse is that many more in our ranks have tolerated this unprofessional and unethical behavior, choosing to turn a blind eye to it. Every member of the Army profession, regardless of rank or position, must stand strong. We must focus on our Army ethic and our values in all aspects of our lives. Will you live up to the promises you made when you took your oath and when you recite the Army values? Are you dedicated to accomplishing the mission and the welfare of our soldiers? Soldiers, our Army and each of us are at a crossroads. You've seen examples of the direction some have taken. Which of these is your army? Leaders at all levels, you must know your unit in your organization. Set the example. Support good order and discipline by ensuring everyone understands and is dedicated to our army values. There can be no bystanders in this effort. Soldiers, army civilians, and our families and the American people are counting on us to lead the way. This is our army. Stand strong. The Garrison Chaplain's Office and Club Meet are hosting this year's National Prayer Breakfast at 11.30 on Wednesday, February 19th. This year's special guest speaker is Vietnam veteran Dave Reaver. Tickets are available now, but seating is limited. There is a suggested donation amount for civilians and service members E6 and above. Tickets can be obtained through Unit Chaplains or the Garrison Chaplain's Office. You can call 301-677-6703. Once again, tickets are available now for this year's National Prayer Luncheon. In other news, the Army announced this week that it wants to increase the awareness of DOD-issued Gold Star next to kid lapel pins. The first ad in the campaign aired during the Super Bowl pregame. The pins signify the loss of a loved one in service to the nation. The pins have actually been around for decades, but many Americans don't know about them. The ad campaign, we'll see an example in just a moment, is also designed to promote the Army's survivor outreach services. I lost my brother Frank the Battle of Iwo Jima. He served on four combat tours in Vietnam, in Iraq, in Afghanistan. There's a life that was lost behind that pin. I put it on for my wife. For my husband. My brother. My dad. My son. We wear it because we honor those that we lost. To learn more about the stories behind the Gold Star Pins, visit goldstarpins.org. In more veterans news, the VA offers career counseling services for veterans and transitioning service members. Here's VA Senior Advisor on Veterans Employment, Ms. Rosie Cloud. If you're a transitioning service member, I want to make sure you know about the rich benefit called Chapter 36, Educational and Career Counseling. Across the nation, vocational rehab counselors are available to walk you through skills assessments and talk you through career aspirations and goal settings and work with you to develop a career plan that's right for you. This is part of a rich benefit that you've earned. Don't pass up an opportunity to really think through about your full potential and make sure that you're leveraging all the rich benefits that you've earned. To learn more about Chapter 36 benefits, contact your local vocational rehab coordinator. 1-800-827-1000. And finally this week, our recently published welcome guides are literally flying off the shelves. We still have copies. You can just stop by the Garrison Public Affairs Office at 4409 Llewellyn Avenue. If you need more than 50, contact Phil Jones at 301-677-5602 to arrange a pickup. However, if you're not into carrying all that weight around, the full version of the 2014 Welcome Guide is now online. There's a link from the Fort Meade homepage. Once on the DC military-run website, you'll find the guide. You can turn pages like a paper copy. Quick links to organization pages, classified ads, and even a Facebook sharing capability are available. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.